and welcome back to the Amateur Radio Technician License Course. The word schematic uh, dates back to the 17th century. At its core, uh, it means scheme or to plan. Uh, today, it's, uh, schematics are primarily used uh, for drawing electrical and electronic circuitry. Um, a schematic diagram can take on different roles. Um, it could be like a recipe that you can use to cook up an electronic device, or it could be sort of like a road map that will help you find your way. Uh, this is particularly useful when you're trying to troubleshoot or isolate a problem. Uh, you need to know where the signal is going or where it's been uh, before you can correct it a lot of times. So are you ready to learn more? Well, let's get started. This is Lesson 6, Part 2. I'm uh, Gary Stevens, uh, your instructor, KE2GS. In this section, we're going to be talking about uh, circuit diagrams or schematic symbols. This is a schematic of a QRP CW transceiver that was designed by Dave Benson, K1SWL. Using what you learned in part one of this lesson, pause the video for a moment and see how many components you can identify. For the exam, know that a schematic is the name of an electrical wiring diagram that uses standard component symbols. In figure T1, uh, there's a, uh, various components. Uh, number one is a resistor. Number two is a transistor. Number three is a lamp. Number four is a battery. And number five is the symbol for ground. So for the exam, know that component one in figure T1 is a resistor. Know that component two in figure T1 is a transistor. Know that component 3 in figure T1 is a lamp. And know that component 4 in figure T1 is a battery. So the components in uh, figure T2 are as follows. Number 1 is a receptacle. Uh, number 2 is a fuse. Number 3 is a switch. Number 4 is a transformer. Number 5 is a diode. Number six is a capacitor. Number seven is a resistor. Number eight is an LED or light emitting diode. Number nine is a variable resistor or potentiometer. And in figure 10, it's a Zener diode. Whereas the uh, one and, and five, uh, number five was uh, a rectifier diode. So uh, for the test, uh, you need to know that component six in figure T2 is a capacitor. You also need to know that uh, component 8 in figure T2 is a light emitting diode. That component 9 in figure T2 is a variable resistor. And that component 4 in figure T2 is a transformer. The components in figure T3 are uh, number one is a input or continuation from another circuit. Um, number two is a variable capacitor. Number three is a variable inductor. And number four is an antenna. So for the exam, you need to know that component three in figure T3 is a variable inductor. So for the exam, you need to know that component 4 in figure T3 is an antenna. You also need to know the symbols on an electrical schematic represent electrical components. And finally, you need to know the way components are interconnected is accurately represented in an electrical schematic. In this section, we're going to be covering uh, component functions. Uh, we'll talk about uh, rectification, switches, inductors, 
uh, power supply components, resonant circuits, uh, shielding power transformers, and integrated circuits. The word rectify comes from the Latin word rectus, which means straight. Um, for the purpose of uh, electronics, to rectify or uh, rectification means to convert alternating current, which is curved, to DC, which is straight. So rectify means make straight. For the exam, you need to know a rectifier is a device or circuit that changes an alternating current into a varying direct current signal. A relay is a device that uh, uses an electromagnet uh, and an armature to uh, open and close the contacts on a switch. Uh, but for the exam, you need to know a relay is an electro uh, electrically controlled switch. Many types of uh, switches. There are single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, double pole, double throw. There's triple, quadruple. Uh, but for the exam, you need to know a single pole, single throw is a type of switch that is represented by component 3 in figure 2. Most of us are familiar with uh, meters. Uh, they're you know, in our automobiles, uh, the electric meters in our house or apartment. Um, a lot of stereo systems have meters to display uh, uh, the power. Um, but for the purpose of the exam, you need to know a meter displays an electrical quantity as a numeric value. You also need to know for the exam that a regulator is a type of circuit that controls the amount of voltage uh, from a power supply. Uh, in this example, uh, you have 12 volts going into a uh, single uh, chip uh, regulator and out comes uh, 5 volts. Uh, they're filtering capacitors uh, C1 and C2 which gets rid of uh, any ripple. You also need to know uh, that a transformer is commonly used to change 120 volts AC house current into a lower AC voltage uh, for other uses uh, such as the power supply and the previous uh, example. LEDs are so common now, I, th I, I doubt that they need any explanation. Um, but for the exam, just know that an LED is commonly used as a visual indicator. And we've talked about uh, inductors, we've talked about capacitors. Um, just know that when you combine the two together, uh, you make a tuned circuit or an LC circuit. Um, so for the exam, you need to know that a capacitor is combined with an inductor to make a tuned circuit. We also all know what an integrated circuit is. Uh, um, this is an example of one that's uh, combined some A to D converters uh, with uh, some various logic and a PLL or phase lock loop. Uh, and some other devices. Uh, just know for the exam that an integrated circuit is the name of a device that combines several semiconductors and other components into one package. Going back to uh, figure T1, you also need to know for the exam that the function of component 2 in figure T1 is to control the flow of current. So it's actually a uh, called a bias resistor when it's uh, at the base of a transistor. Again, you need to know that an inductor and a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter is a resonant or tuned circuit. A lot of cables used uh, for antennas and uh, special sensitive circuitry are shielded. That means that they have a metal sheath around the uh, central core or primary conductor. And it's, of course, separated by dielectric insulator uh, so that uh, the, it doesn't short. 
For the exam, we simply need to know a common reason to use shielded wire is to prevent the coupling of unwanted signals to and from the wire. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, if you like this series, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, never stop learning. Thank you.